Star Wars 7x7 episode 2234. Today, another What to Watch Now segment that kind of follows a similar idea from last week, but what I'm going to recommend is maybe a little controversial. Punch it. Hey Rebel Rouser, I'm Alan Voivod and this is Star Wars 7x7, your daily dose of Star Wars joy. And thank you so much for joining me for it. So last week when we did the What to Watch Now segment, we talked about Willow and the fact that Willow is, even though you know created separately from Star Wars, that Dave Filoni sees it as part of a broader Lucasverse, if you will, and has woven references to Willow into various Star Wars stories, and there is a Willow series that's actually in development for Disney Plus right now. So, <laughs> this thing came up this week, or at least something new came up this week, and it reminded me about something old related to it, and so that's what I'm going to suggest. That old thing is the 1978 Star Wars Holiday Special. Now, if you are familiar with the Holiday Special, you might actually be going, why, why, why on earth would you ever recommend this? And, you know, I was listening to something recently where uh, a couple of people were talking about the notion of watching good movies versus watching bad movies and, you know, the person who was being interviewed was like, yeah, you know, if I'm going to spend time watching anything, I'm going to watch good movies because I want to learn. I want to, you know, advance my craft and that sort of thing. But, you know, said, it's not like I don't watch bad movies. It's just, you know, like it has a place and a time, basically. And the same thing goes for the Star Wars Holiday Special. It really isn't good. <laughs> and, you know, I've actually watched it, I think, three separate times since I started the podcast. We did four episodes on it in, I think, the first year of the podcast, right around Life Day, where I broke down the whole thing. And then I watched it a second time before I did my interview with Bruce Falanch, who was one of the writers on the holiday special. And then I did it again last year during the holiday season with the rest of my family who had never seen the holiday special before. How dare I, <laughs> as a Star Wars fan, not expose them to such a thing? And it's worth it just for the what in heaven's name am I watching kind of moments. And if you're not familiar with the holiday special, well, just in a nutshell, it was written by a number of folks who were writers for variety TV shows back in the 70s. And it centers around Chewbacca needing to go back to Kashyyyk for the Life Day celebration, the annual Wookiee holiday, and Han Solo is trying to get him back there, even though they're being chased by Star Destroyers and Imperials, and things are not good on the planet itself, like there's an Imperial occupation there happening, and so on and so forth. But it's super important that Chewie gets back also to see his wife and his son and his dad, all this stuff. And it features a lot of people that you would have seen on variety shows and sitcoms in the 70s, including B. Arthur and Art Carney, Harvey Korman, the list goes on. And yeah, it is just ridiculous. It is absolutely crazy. Probably the one thing that ever gets any kudos is actually the one thing that George Lucas probably likes about it, or has said in the past that he liked at the time, which was the cartoon which introduced Boba Fett. That is actually pretty well done, although there is kind of a very quick ending to it that, like, it's just kind of like, oh, psh, it, it's done. Like, it doesn't quite resolve itself, you know, with total satisfaction, basically. As for the rest of it, well... Back in the days when they had VHS cassettes, Lucas has famously said that if he had a hammer and could gather up all the copies, he would destroy them with said hammer. It's a little different, you know, if I had a hammer, I'd hammer all over this land kind of thing. But yeah, it's definitely not going to be erased ever, and especially now that it's on YouTube, there's nothing to hammer. But apart from the just abject why, why of most everything that happens in this thing. Why would you necessarily watch it now? Well, you know, traditionally, at least here in the U.S., holiday stuff starts to come out, right? Like Hallmark ornaments tend to come out this time of year, at least, you know, in normal years and so on. <sighs> yeah, there's that. But 
It turns out that <laughs> there is a contemporary reason why I started thinking about the holiday special again, and that's because they just announced that another holiday special is going to happen. It's going to be released on Life Day on November 17th on Disney Plus, and it's actually a Lego holiday special. It's a Lego Star Wars holiday special that is going to take place after the events of The Rise of Skywalker. It's going to feature Rey and BB-8 on a journey to a Jedi temple and something bizarre happens at the Jedi temple that casts Rey across space and time and allows her to encounter all different eras of Star Wars. So prequel era, original trilogy era, and according to releases and other information, possibly different characters are, or characters are going to encounter different uh, ages of themselves. So you might see like an older Luke and a younger Luke meeting, for example, or an older Anakin slash Darth Vader meeting a younger Anakin slash Darth Vader. You know, it's going to be absolutely chaotic because the Lego stuff tends to be pretty chaotic. Apparently there are going to be some actors reprising their roles. We don't necessarily know who just yet. That's something that's going to be announced down the line. The executive producer, Josh Rhymes, was asked if B. Arthur is going to appear or the character that she plays is going to appear, I should say. And he said, well, I don't want to give anything away. So, you know, is that a just you know, neither confirm nor deny where we really don't know, or is it he didn't say no, so that means yes. Like, I don't know. It sounds like it's going to be pretty nuts. And the rest of the sequel era crew are going to be helping Chewbacca and getting ready for Life Day. And apparently this new story is going to be inspired by It's a Wonderful Life and planes, trains, and automobiles, and Christmas vacation, and also there's a nod to, it says, Burl Ives musical cheers. So if you remember the Rankin Bass cartoons or stop motion animation holiday specials of the 70s, well, yeah, that's the kind of kookiness we're talking about. So I personally think this is going to be quite fun, and yeah, I'm looking forward to checking it out, and heaven help me, I probably will watch the holiday special again this year. So if you haven't watched it, please, you do owe it to yourself just once to check it out just once and let me know what you think about it and that is just about going to do it here for the show i do want to give a quick shout out to our friends at audible and thank them for allowing us to provide a free 30-day trial and free audiobook download from sw7x7.org or .com slash audible, if I can say it right, <laughs> sw7x7.com slash audible for your free audiobook and free 30-day trial. If you decide to continue on to a paid subscription, then there's a little commission that goes to us that helps keep the lights on and the cameras recording and all that fun stuff. So once again, sw7x7.com slash audible. Thank you for considering it. And thank you for joining me for today's show. As always, and may the force be with you wherever in the world you may be. Star Wars 7x7 is not endorsed or sponsored yet by Lucasfilm Limited, Disney, or 20th Century Fox and is intended for entertainment and information purposes only. Star Wars, the Star Wars logo, all names and pictures of Star Wars characters, vehicles, and any other Star Wars related items are registered trademarks and or copyrights of Lucasfilm Limited or their respective trademark and copyright holders. May the force be with them. All original content is copyright 2020 by Star Wars 7x7. We hope you love it.